What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing the brand new championship revealed last night on Monday Night Raw by Mick Foley. Guys, the 24-7 championship and there's a lot of things to cover about this title you know it was it's very interesting it's a very interesting concept everything in between and on twitter i took to it last night you know this this, this segment that it was announced on you know you could just tell by the crowd guys i mean the crowd was not having this championship at all they they completely turned on it immediately when it was revealed and i honestly i, I do not know exactly what to think about it i mean at first i think the championship is not very attractive i used to think that the universal championship was ugly but this this guys I, I really am not a fan of the way this thing looks i i just do not uh i, I don't know it just i it remind i had somebody tell me it reminds them of an arcade token um i've been referring to it as the catering championship you know the the dinner plate championship it just looks very odd i don't i don't know exactly i, I i'm not a big fan of I'm, I'm a fan of like the shape like the circle plate in the middle you know square side plates that's completely fine i like that aspect of it but the green strap the big gold you know plate with the 24 7 logo if you guys remember the wwf or wwe 24 7 i think it was like a documentary channel or something i can't remember exactly what the info i can't remember you know I, I remember it back in the day but i can't remember exactly what they showed i think it was like documentaries and stuff like that this is exactly what the logo kind of looked like it was like a 24 7 logo maybe i can pop it up on the screen for you guys to show you but uh, this is uh, that's exactly what it reminded me of, and the the whole idea, obviously, of it is that it's supposed to be defended 24/7. It's 24/7 rule, just like the MDT Extreme Championship on the Pick Fed, and you know um, it can allow for some really good entertainment. You know that we saw on Monday Night Raw, like that segment, as as big of a circus as it was, I thought it was an absolute circus. Mick Foley comes out, unveils this championship. Nobody, like the crowd, completely crapped on the belt. You know, I guess Mick Foley doesn't need to, you know, announce championship belts because every time he does, they get pooped on. Remember SummerSlam 2016 with the Universal Championship? Same aspect here, guys. But anyways, they come out there and we and we get the, the segment. He announces the championship. He announces the rules and everything. And the crowd was completely out of it, guys. I mean, the championship was hanging out of the bag, for Christ's sakes, before we even got it out. But this segment, you know, he says, I'm going to lay this down in the middle of the ring and whoever comes out here and grabs it is going to be the 24-7 champion. And so he lays it down in the middle of the ring and then all these different jobbers and catering guys come out which is kind of upsetting because Cedric Alexander, my boy Cedric Alexander was in this segment. Very upsetting because I think Cedric Alexander should be above this. You know, he, he deserves to be in that, that United States Championship run. He, he's a he's a top talent, guys. I, I don't like that. But all these people start coming out and I feel bad because Cedric Alexander was about almost to the ring and nobody was around to get him. So he's like slowing down and turning around so people can grab him. And I just thought it was hilarious how people were like trying to act like they were going for the championship, but they were like kind of hesitant because they know they were supposed to get stop they're not supposed to grab it yet and i don't know it was just really wacky and fun to a degree i was entertained by it i'm not gonna lie to you i thought it was hilarious um with everybody scrambling you know trying to grab the championship it reminded me of crash holly from the attitude era when he would come out win the title and just grab that thing and run like hell i just i love that so much i think it's hilarious and it, it reminds me a lot of mdt live with the extreme championship how anybody can just come out of nowhere bash you over the head get the championship one two three but titus o'neill ends up grabbing it after some back and forth from all of the different talent going after this thing. You know, the club gets interfered with. And then Titus O'Neil gets the title. He's running all over the arena. Robert Roode comes out, rolls him up from behind, gets the championship. And then later in the night, R-Truth gets a hold of him. I mean, my goodness, guys. I, I, I think that this can be a very entertaining aspect, and I'm going in with an open mind. But the championship is, this is what I will take away from it. The championship is most definitely ugly. I'm not a fan of what it looks like. You know, the hardcore championship, it, it replicated exactly what the hardcore championship was all about. Just rugged and, you know, it was dirty and beat the hell up it was an old wwf title you know beat to hell it had duct tape on it It said hardcore champion i mean that is what i envisioned with something like this it's obviously not gonna be as hardcore it's gonna be more of a wacky like you know um roll-ups and funny ways to win the championship but i i'm very entertained by it i think it's a really interesting concept i think that you can actually get some entertaining television and it's something that presents itself on monday night raw that we have not had in a very long time like i was entertained on monday night raw by this segment and just a just a few short moments by this championship and i think that that's very important but at the same time it's like my god if I just don't trust WWE with it at the same time because everything that, you know, is cool and awesome and everything, they try to ruin and they take the fun out of it. So I, I really can't see this championship being any different. Hopefully I'm wrong. I hope that I am wrong. I really want to see this thing, uh, you know, flourish, and I hope that we get some really entertaining things out of it. And I was entertained by the championship, but the championship is most definitely ugly, and it seemed like 
the third, like, it was kind of confusing because Mick Foley talked about, well, the third hour is going to get really interesting on Monday Night Raw. If it's referred to as the 24-7 championship, then why does it have to be designated to the third hour on Raw? I don't know. It's just a little weird, but just imagine all of the different things that can be done because of this championship. I mean, like, live on the WWE Network, they can upload, like, little segments. On YouTube, we could have different champions be crowned because of roll-ups and getting attacked, like, maybe at people's houses, stuff like that. You can do really entertaining stuff, you know, at grocery stores and stuff like that back in the Ruthless Aggression and Attitude Era if they book it correctly. But he said something about the third hour becoming Raw, and I, I, I was just thinking to myself, are th is this like a ploy to get people to watch the third hour of Raw so people stick around or they tune in to the third hour of Raw? Because that's where it all dri dips off and stuff, which is a whole nother argument. I mean, my God, you got Bobby Trashley, Baron Corbin main eventing every Monday Night Raw. Nobody's going to watch the third hour of Monday Night Raw. But again, I think that this championship can be effective. I think that they can do something really cool with it if they try, if they if they put their backs into it, if Vince isn't choking the hell out of every storyline on Monday Night Raw, I think you can allow for some really entertaining television. But it is most definitely the catering championship. You know, it's gonna be it's gonna allow a lot of lower level tier guys to get a chance, which is fine with me. I think it's awesome. Like you know. Uh, as long as it's booked entertainingly, as long as it's booked creatively, and it's not just this car crash of, of randomness, even though that's kind of what the, the championship is, you know, showing, and that's some symbolism there. Um, but I, I enjoyed this segment, guys. I really did. I thought it was entertaining. I, I really thought that the championship was ugly, like I said. But the, the overall aspect of it can be entertaining, and I'm going to give it an open chance, but given that it's on Monday Night Raw, I hope that it doesn't just crash and burn after a couple of weeks and they actually give it some time. We see Robert Roode out of nowhere for the first time since he had his first little interview backstage. And um, I don't know, man. I'm going in with an open mind. I think it's cool. Even Another thing that we need to talk about, though, is that this is like the 12th championship, 11th or 12th championship on the main roster alone. You have, you know, the women's tag titles, both sets of men's tag titles, United States title, Intercontinental Championship. You have the Cruiserweight Championship. You have the WWE Championship, the Universal Championship. So tons of championships running around on the main roster. And it's like, my God, do we actually need another championship? My Jesus, guys. I mean, good luck. Lord, but uh, I think that again, I'm gonna go in with an open mind. I'm gonna, you know, keep it um, in the front of my mind that this is gonna be something entertaining, and I'm gonna trust WWE with it. But we're we're gonna have to see where it goes from here. I was entertained by it, and I'm excited to see where it goes from here. Hopefully, we get some crazy antics going on. But that is pretty much going to do it for today's video, guys. I really want to know down in the comment section below what you guys think of the championship. What do you think? Do you think it's a cool idea? Did you like the championship? Did you think it was cool? Whatever the case, I would love to know everything down in the comment section below. I know I had a couple friends there live watching the show, and they said that the crowd completely pooped on it. And they were not okay with it. But um, I would love to know everything down below, guys. I, I'm in the process of getting a uh, custom 24-7 championship for my uh, figures. And we're going to go over that. Maybe I can get the custom belt in here and, you know, talk about it and everything. But that's going to do it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy my thoughts and everything reacting to the 24-7 championship. I would love to know down below what you think. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos, guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.